Hello, and welcome back. I have uh, something planned for today. Uh, I only have five medium voltage solar panels, which I think I was actually saying the wrong number uh, last time. They're 64 EU a tick. But uh, as you can tell, I've kind of condensed down the situation. Um, whoop, that is not the right place to be. I moved my extractor down here and gave it a transformer upgrade and eight overclocker upgrades. Uh, Use the export and whatnot, hook to that in order to hook it up. Uh, hook this back up, used all my aluminum. Uh, smelted a ton of glass, which I've used quite a bit of, as you can tell by the glass viewers. Did a little bit of work placing glass viewers around the island, but I'm not entirely sure if I want to keep doing it that. Uh, turned the rubber farm back on. I just didn't make any other pipe, so I just grabbed the iron pipe that I had. The sticky resin's coming out, going into the tesseract, which is going into the quarry output. So it's getting fed into the system. Then that's getting extracted and put in here. I've got almost 1,200 now. And the reason behind all of this and why those barrels and stuff are gone, I moved that chest up there, a lot of this stuff is gone, is because I have a plan. The plan starts with ME assembler containment walls. Hopefully I did the math right. I'm pretty sure I need 32 of these. So I've got it all in here. It's 4 iron, 4 gold, and a quartz crystal each. So, 32 of those. Now, these are all good, but you need more pieces. In this case, you need the heat vent, which takes ME cable, iron bars, and iron ingots. I made 24 of those. Hopefully, once again, my math is right. I have one ME pattern provider, which is just made with stuff we already know how to make and crafting CPUs which I'm making seven of uh, all of this will make sense soon uh, just gotta finish going through these real quick now there's two more things here these are very important to this process as well there's the ME pattern encoder which once again is pretty simple and then there is the blank patterns, of which I believe I have enough in here to make 16. Yes, and I had some extra glass and iron, which is all well and good. We'll throw those back in there. Now, the pattern encoder does not need to be part of the network. So we'll just throw it over here. Uh, I'll get to him in a second, though. First, I need to get all of these set up. Show you why I have them. Now... These are the ME assembler container walls. These go on the corners of the object. So, like, so, uh, the one I'm making is 4x4, four four, but like, uh, like all the other multi-block machines, they have varying sizes. Smallest you can make is 3x3, three three, but I decided 4x4 four four was best to my interests. Now, I should probably finish this. There we go. Now, the heat vents fill in these extra spots here in the middle. These are the primary section of the wall. Uh, actually, I need to leave that open so I can actually access the inside. Now, there cannot be any air in here. And as you see, we have eight spots. So, the pattern provider can hold quite a bit of patterns, I'm pretty sure. The last I had seen, it holds a lot of patterns by itself. Just one of them. So I'm filling in the rest of these with CPUs. The machine by default does one craft every three ticks. For every CPU you add, it does another one craft per three ticks. And when you finish the machine, you get this. Now, as you can see, this is what one pattern provider can hold. When you add more, you get more pages and you can next and whatnot through them. But as it currently stands, this is what I'm using for now. Now, that's all well and good, but in order to do a, uh, you need to make patterns. So, for example, we're going to start with the copper cable, which I will go in here, and all you do is you just set it up like you would a standard thing, right? Put in a blank pattern and hit encode. 
And as you can see, it is an ME encoded assembler pattern. It crafts six copper cable with six rubber and three ingots. Now, what we do is we just put this in here, and that's it. Uh, I can't actively show that it's going to do anything because of the fact that I already have copper cable. Now, what we can do is, so if we take redstone, and I made a lot of refined iron to get prepared. Basically, the whole point behind this was making the, uh, the solar panels was a pain. So, I decided I would uh, one-up the whole thing. So, by one-upping the whole thing, I mean that I'm making a bunch of stuff. Did I put the... I thought I put all the extra stuff in here, but... Oh, no, no, there wouldn't be any extra batteries. Right. So, we need tin, redstone... I think you've kind of gotten the idea on how this whole process works, but... I'm gonna be honest. I'm trying to fill time at this point. I have some other... Th I had something else I wanted to do, but I seem to have forgotten what it was. What? Oh. Whoops. It was refined iron I just put in there. Code the battery. That one I don't have any of. So, as you can see, it has a craft as an option. If I click it, I can tell it how many I wish to craft. Which I wish to craft one. Now there's one in there. So, now what I need to do, I need to make a few more things. First of all, I'm going to need a iron furnace. These are then used... Can I just make one? Well, I suppose I can if I do this. And iron furnace! It, you kind of need the things in order to make the things to begin with, and it... Actually, maybe I don't. Let's test something here. If I search for generator... Uh, I guess not. Well, that answers that question. So. This is a uh, slightly tedious process, but... Once I get all of this in place, so I'll just throw this, 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 this. I'll put all this stuff back in here. And I want a generator. Give me one. And I also want two of these. I want one of these. Actually, I don't need two of those, but... Uh... What else do I need? Glass. So... This will get me to the biggest, most pain in the ass part of the whole process, which is the first solar panel. Encode. Now, it took a lot to just make all of that. That's a little bit ridiculous. But now, in theory, if I click this and tell it, give me, well, give me one of them for now. Ta-da! Okay, give me 63 of them. And this will show you what happens when we actually reach the end of the line if I don't have enough rubber for this, which it looks like I actually do. Yes. Things are going well. I definitely do not have a rubber for another 64 of it, though. But, you see how easy that makes crafting, like, solar panels and stuff? So, anything I craft on a regular basis, I could p easily just put in here, and it would show up. Which, oh, sort by item name. But, uh, if you sort by number of items in reverse order, the crafts will be at the top. But I keep it like this. Because I find it simpler to work with. And as for the coal, I'm not sure how much of that I actually need. I might set some aside in like a barrel or something for backup purposes and then just convert the rest of it to dust. Or I could set up a... Basically what I'd do is you'd 
take the uh, the dust. I believe this is how it works. And if you go to a pattern encoder and just put that as the result, like so, crafts one coal dust. Oh, actually, I did that wrong. Well, shift, right click, clears the pattern. Let's try this again, properly. And I apparently had a bunch of things on me. I am a terrible person. Now the cool thing is if I take this, put that there, and hit encode, oh, I might actually want to put one of these in, and hit encode, it says we get one coal dust with one coal. Now the way that this works is this ME interface is actually in a fairly good spot. Mostly. Kinda. I want to... Mm -hmm. You know what? I've made enough of them already. Let's just make another ME interface, which I believe is made with an ME cable. Three glass. One, two, three. I already had one. Well, I'll just put it back. Uh, four iron. One, two, three, four. And, oh, I think I need a processing. Yeah. Crap. I do not have all the things for this. So I guess... I, you know what? I can still make it. I'm just going to do this in a very roundabout way that I'm going to change later. For now, though, I need these, I need these, grab some of these, and actually, there is the slight problem. Well, if you First of all, if you update the network, it will stop any in-process crafting processes, which I guess I don't have any running. That's... No, I don't want to move that. Well, this will give me the perfect opportunity to test something I've been wondering for a while. Which is... Can I do that? Or does it need to be piped into? I don't know. But if we put processing... And we grab a pulverizer. Put this pulverizer in here. Now we have to hook this up. I'm going to do it in a very roundabout method. Like so. This should get powered. It will accept its input from the top. And I will put it on this side. Colorless stacks. I guess I don't really have any way to go about testing this. Hmm. There might be a slight oversight in this process. Oops. No, nope, whatever works. Hmm. How much of this can I fit in my inventory? Oop, not you. No, not you either. Oh, good. Now, if I tell it I wish to craft ten of them, it should... Yes, it put ten coal into the pulverizer in the top, and I am now pulling things out in stacks. Beautiful, beautiful. So, basically, if I make a series of interfaces, I can place them along things and craft anything I need through this one system. I love Applied Energistics. Greatest mod ever created. So, I guess... There's that. What was the other thing I had planned? I've kind of forgotten now. And, I yeah, I stole the extractor from here. So that's fun. But, uh, 
I suppose I can make a few more th things. Not really. Uh, if I want to make low voltage things, I need to get wood in here, and I don't really have any wood at the moment. I have this. I suppose. And it'll probably be mostly redwood anyhow, because I just go chop down redwood trees to make the stuff. So, what are you going to do? Put you in there. Grab some of you. Uh, what else do I need? I need copper. 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 Cable y stuff. I need the wood that I just put in there. Oh, crap. It doesn't maintain the information. Well, now I know. And now you know. Somebody knows. Yeah, okay. And I wish to encode that on a pattern thing that I left over here, and now that whole thing is erased. Because I'm a terrible person. You don't go there. You go there. I've kind of scatterbrained this. The first part of the episode was so good, and then I... Gone. Whole thing. Screwed it. And... Crafts 1 LV Transformer. Very good. Did you see how they were actually showing us the items for a second? Oh, yeah. If you press shift, you can see what items they are. Cool deal. Cool deal. I suppose now I'll craft one of these and I'll go over here you know I might actually need to take that out I didn't craft one did I? huh oh I didn't put any wood in my bad craft one okay so might as well make the next stage now. Solar panels. Not you. LV transformer. Put that in there. So now I can make a low voltage solar array by pressing the button which I should have enough to make eight of them. Why is there still extra solar panels? That's really awkward. Uh, insulated gold cable two times. So, I cannot make this with just straight gold. That could be a problem. How can I make this? Right. Okay, so I guess I have to make that now. And then I also have to make the pattern to re-encode it. Not re-encode. Uh, take it to the next step. Insulated gold cable. Oh. Great. Make me... One. Of course I get four, because that's how the system works. Uh, I've just realized that this episode is just me continuously going between two crafting things. I am a terrible person. Not you. Let's make some of this. Accidentally place it. Basically, the point here is that I'm trying to simplify my entire process by making things. 
I need a machine block. Thank you. So, machine block. Do, 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 do. Oh. So, that mostly handles a lot of things. I'm going to end up needing to make more blank patterns and stuff, but eventually this entire thing should be able to basically one-click me a high-voltage solar panel. In theory. Uh, I might want to put that in there, where it belongs. So. If I take these out, give me one of those. Craft me one of these, please. Thank you very much. Time for the high-voltage solar panel. Which means... Not high voltage, the medium voltage. And I'm pretty sure you see how this entire process works, and then I would just do pretty much the exact same thing. Can I actually rearrange these? I'm just being extremely specific about how these things are organized. Uh, sure. Yes. Then I'll put that there, and then eventually I'll put the high voltage transformer there. Yes. Okay. Okay, screw this. Put those down there. Yeah, whatever. I quit! Uh, stuff that I need to do. Besides empty my inventory. Craft me one. Why? What is it doing? Is it like crafting? I'm so confused. But, um, yeah, that should be able to, when it works later on, when it's actually more completed and I have more materials chilling out. Problem right now is the rubber. I should be able to do something like this. For example, I click, why do I still have one? It's really awkward. But not as awkward as the fact that this whole thing keeps shifting on me. Well, let's stop those from moving. I want one. Yeah, and because of the fact that I put so many things in there, what that means is that in the end, I already have the array. That simply. Why it's leaving one solar panel, I'm not sure. But I can put these back in, and one day I'll have enough rubber to make an entire set of things. But I don't right now, do I? You know what? Screw it. What do you say we try? Begin. The amount of rubber I have is diminishing very, very rapidly. But I might have enough. Something ran out. What ran out? Oh, hell. And the thing is, if you restart the network, any process currently 
being processed dies. So the question is, where did it stop? It has a generator, it has two circuits, glass. It ran out, glass. If I take out sand, oops, and I tell this to make me glass, I'll screw it, it can stay there for all I care. Okay, things are moving again. And I do have enough rubber. But basically, in the end, what would happen is, once I've got a large stockpile of rubber built up from the rubber form, uh, what will happen is I can just press, hey, I want a high voltage solar panel. And it will make me one over an extended period of time, but far quicker than I could possibly do it myself. But I'm going to leave that running, making glass for a while. I think... I don't know if this is working, to be honest. Actually, yes I do. This thing would not be moving around like it was if it wasn't working. Which it stopped moving now because it finished that stage, but uh... Glass is being processed. No problem. So... Yeah, here's the rubber farm. And... I went and flew around to the swamp near the spawn, cut down a bunch of rubber trees to get saplings. You can see that all the spots are full, but that's because there's not enough light to actually grow the plants. So the seeds keep popping out. Not seeds, saplings. But it's good enough for now. Uh, I noticed that for some odd reason the wheat farm no longer makes its own water anymore. Which is really weird. I just put something somewhere, and I have no idea what it was. Anyhow. Yeah, so that's making that again. Which should put me at... Yeah, the bread is increasing, and I just kind of go like this. Uh-oh. That could be dangerous. See, because of the mod pack update, this is the first time I've actually taken anything out. Light control, night vision. That's weird. Auto feeder. Is it full or did it change? Grab the bottom leftmost food item from your inventory and feed it to you, storing the rest for later. Bottom leftmost, huh? Okay. Hmm. Weird. But anyhow... It is turning out bread like nobody's business. You know, maybe I'll just keep the uh, the bread in my inventory. There's a very good chance I might have actually killed the system a tiny bit. Uh, when it updated, I have no idea what may or may not have happened, and that's all I know. And I have seven rubber. Did I accidentally tell it to make a lot of them? Hmm. Interesting. What is it waiting on? Coal dust? No. Speaking of... Oh, there it is. Okay. It's definitely not waiting on glass anymore. And I'm just going to let that keep going for a while. How about you? Are you still working? Yes, you are retracting, I believe. Okay, so, a bit of a scatterbrained episode. And there's something I kind of want to make for next time. It'll, uh, once that finishes breaking, even though I no longer care at this point. The crafting monitor, 
I'll be able to hook it up to the system and it will show me what the progress is, if there's any mis missing materials or anything like that from within there. But uh, I'm thinking maybe I should make a bulk of uh, things. Uh, the golden processory things again. Because I used them all up making that. So, yeah, this might be a bit shorter. I apologize, but uh, this is something I wanted to get out of the way. I knew eventually it was going to be something I needed, but I didn't see a need for it before, and now it's extremely useful. So, I'm going to call this good. Maybe at some point I'll automate the increasing of this, but I shouldn't really need it yet. But, uh, yep, so I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.